Buenos dias or buenas noches. It is your favorite Blanco Latino, and I'm here to do a quick review of Deadpool and Wolverine. So I decided, I was thinking to split up the spoilers, but I was saving it for a different video because I definitely want to talk to Josh about it. And maybe bring in his brother as well, because I know for a fact that not only Josh will love it, but also his brother, for sure. And judging from my tone of voice, <laughs> I love the movie. <laughs> it was actually really good. I, I had high hopes. I mean, you're bringing back Hugh Jackman. And yes, he's... He's playing a different Wolverine. This is not the same Wolverine from the original Fox films. You'll, you'll understand when the movie gets started. But I don't want to spoil anything about this. So this review is definitely going to be very tight. Very quick. Should you go see this movie? Hell yeah, dude. Go watch the movie. You will have a great time. You'll be laughing your ass off. And the cameos. I was expecting a Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness type of treatment with the cameos. But nah, they got the No Way Home treatment. If you understand what, I, what I'm saying about that, so, you know, how am I wording that in a way? When it came to the treatment of these cameos, you know what I mean. If you've seen both movies, you understand how those cameos were treated. Uh, I, there was a part I screamed. I literally screamed. I just couldn't believe it. And I'm not going to say anything else. This was, this was a fantastic movie. Seeing Hugh Jackman in the yellow suit. <laughs> referring that it took 24 years, but we're here. We see it in all its glory. And there's actually a backstory to the costume as well. I was actually surprised they actually... Put a whole backstory on why he wears it it's it's very touching again when hugh jackman does the serious moments he's always serious in the movie actually so <laughs> he, he's funny in his own way and that's what i love i love the fact that wolverine is still wolverine he's not being quippy he's he gets really fed up with the jokes and stuff like that yeah deadpool is funny in his own way i know that people don't like ryan reynolds i know some of my family members they don't like ryan reynolds but they like hugh jackman that's why they're gonna watch it for him. this movie will make money to a billion i don't know i think maybe it could be possible this movie is big and the action is great you get to see wolverine fight in ways that you you only seen in the comic books how he fights and it's amazing and I thought I wasn't going to like Deadpool's costume, but it actually looks good. The colors are a lot more vibrant. Gives that Marvel MCU look in a way. I would say I kind of wish Deadpool would roast Marvel and Disney a bit more. Not saying he didn't do a lot. He kind of did, but I think I was expecting more. But it's still funny. <laughs> it's still funny. But overall, this movie had heart. It... it it was it felt so much different compared to the other mcu films that we got of recent it had heart and it it's a basic story um if you're expecting any if you're expecting anything when it comes to deadpool and wolverine being in the mcu like that don't get to help hopes up with that i'm not saying they're not in it they, they don't tease anything saying they'll return or something like that that's all i'm gonna say but yeah, you'll love the cameos, you'll love the action, the music, the music choices they made are phenomenal. Love them. But other than that, I, I, I it's, it's weird. I want to talk more about the movie, but I don't want to spoil it. We, we had it here in Australia. It just released tonight and I know that America won't get it for another two days. So I'm not going to be an a-hole and talk about the spoilers in the second half of the video. This is going to be it, honestly. And this is coming from the guy who was pretty much giving a lot of crap to the Captain America trailer. And I've got quite a few uh, feedback in the comments, which whatever, you know, if they don't like it, they can uh, go suck a lemon. But that's how I feel about Captain America. And now people keep saying, did this movie save the MCU? I mean, <laughs> it's hard to say, even though it's part of the MCU, I guess, it's definitely... 
it celebrates more the Fox X-Men movies in general. And the credits definitely show it. It just celebrates that era of Marvel when we're talking about the early 2000s. Because again, it was X-Men, right? X-Men 2000, they showed off that superhero movies can be taken seriously. And while this film has a lot of jokes, it actually took itself seriously in the situations that they're in. And it was so refreshing because I was getting tired of the same old taking everything, you know, taking everything as a joke. And it makes sense here. But that's the thing. A lot of the characters try to act like Deadpool going, wow, how wacky it is that all the situation is happening. Again, people refer it as Marvel humor. And I know people will go, oh, what does that mean in general? I guess Marvel humor means taking a serious situation and having our characters not take it you know, taking it seriously and uh, just joking about how weird and funny it is in the situation that they're in. And there are times this film does it, but it's coming from Deadpool and it makes sense. And Wolverine's the one that's telling Deadpool to shut the F up. <laughs> it's funny. It kind of reminds me with Josh's brother and me, how our dynamic uh, does that in our workplace. I'm like Wolverine and he's Deadpool. He's the one joking around. I'm the one telling him to shut the F up. <laughs> so I definitely find the moment, the moments in the film very relatable. But other than that, go watch this movie. It's fantastic. You'll have a great time. I'm very disappointed that in Australia, we could not get the Wolverine popcorn bucket. We got some shitty metallic ones that we always get. No Wolverine ones. Very disappointed, you know. You can't win them all. Anyways, this is my non-spoiler review. I know it's not much, but in general, I loved it. It's definitely the best MCU movie in recent years. Uh, again, I, I'm more of an X-Men and Spider-Man fan first. I'm more of a DC guy, but I love Spider-Man and X-Men. This film, ah, oh, right up my alley. You think the MCU might make a comeback? I don't know. I guess we'll find out this week in San Diego Comic-Con, which I'm gonna keep a close eye to see what they announce. Hopefully they make movies about characters that we do know and like, not just random characters that the general audience would not know or care. Because that's the thing. When you put two of the, well, one of the biggest characters and a sort of well-known character in a movie together, you you get the attention. You get the, the bucks, the big bucks. But if you make some random team like the Eternals and they flop, yeah, what can you do? <laughs> And I doubt Captain America will make the same money. I'll, I'll be surprised, but who knows? I don't know if I'm going to watch that movie. I don't know. I, again, I'm more interested with the Spider-Man and X-Men now. I sort of lost faith with the other characters. But anyways, that's my quick review. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. Subscribe. Give this video a like if you want to. And I wish you guys a good day or good night. Ciao.